Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So, in this series of discussing lead code question or coding interview question, in this video we will see one more question that is a lead code question and one of the pop, one of the most popular question asked by top companies, even is in Amazon, Google, Microsoft interviews of these companies. That is power of proof. This is lead code question. But you have to solve this question in constant time. This is the constraint. Or they ask like in these companies they ask. The, what is the best possible way to solve this question to find power of 2 if the number is power of 2 or not bad thing or how to solve this question how to find out the number is power of 2 in constant time see in the previous lecture also I have discussed this question but that was with the brute force algorithm taking order of n time complexity but that is not optimized approach and we are discussing when we are discussing like uh, uh, the DSA question or these type of questions obviously an interviewer expect the optimized approach from you so they ask, find out the number is power of 2 in constant time. How to find out this thing, how to solve this question. So we'll see the optimized appro approach in this solution, the optimized solution which takes order of n, constant time. Right. And we'll solve this question in Java, Java programming language. Now, just want to tell you one thing before starting this question. My DSA with Java course has already been started and enrollments are still open. Many students ask this question. Yes, you can still enroll and you will get recording of all the previous lectures plus quiz hey everyone, assignments, I many things we have covered. In this course, I'll cover complete Java first, then DSA with assignments, quiz, coding exercises, projects, even one project, so also basic project we have discussed notes and ppts you will get you can download the notes and ppts and everything and there we will be covering these type of almost 200 plus placement questions asked by the top companies in this during this course after completion you will get a completion certificate as well so if you want to check out if you want to enroll the link you will get in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment you can go and check out now let's discuss how to find out the number is power of two see the number which are power of 2 is like 2, 4, 8 and then 16, 32, 2 raised to power, how, how we can write this number 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3, 2 raised to power 4, 2 raised to power 5, something like this, like 2 raised to power 6, that would be 64 and so on. So these are the numbers which are power of 2, right? If you want to find out the solution, if the number is power of 2 in constant time, then we can use bitwise operators. I hope you have heard about bitwise operators. Bitwise AND, OR, XOR, left shift, right shift, bitwise not. So you can use bitwise operators. Right now, how to use this? Now, bitwise operators work on the bits of the operands, individual bits. Right? So let's do this thing. If you convert all the numbers which are power of 2 in binary representation, then definitely you will get a pattern so first let's convert so see maybe you are thinking like how would i know that i have to use bitwise operator so this thing it obviously you have to practice question and then you will come to know then you will finally come to know what should be the pattern what should be the approach and this so for that you have to practice many questions almost 100 150 questions then you can find out this thing right and suppose you get to know i say that power of two Solve this question with, with bitwise operators. Then how you will proceed, how to think. So first, understand this problem, power of 2. So just write down what are the numbers which are power of 2. Ha you have to use bitwise operator. So just try to explore what are bitwise operators. And bitwise operators, you know, works at individual bits. So then we can do one thing like, let's uh, convert this into binary representation. Something like this, you can connect the dots. And then you will find definitely some uh, solution or some pattern and you are able to solve that. So let's write down two. This is decimal number. Decimal to binary. How to convert? Shortcut is like I write 2, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, something like this. And if the number is 2, just place 1 here and otherwise 0. I'm writing suppose in 8 bits. These are. 4 and 4 8 bits. Now 4. So here 1, every other bit is 0. Now 8. Here 1, every other bit is 0, 0. So are you getting something from this? Are you able to construct something? See, 
if a number is power of 2 then in the binary representation of the, of that number you will get only 1 1 all the other bits are 0 here also one bit is 1 all the other bits are 0 right now we can do one thing if you perform suppose number is n and if if you perform bitwise and with n minus 1 then if this number is even number sorry if this number is power of 2 then definitely the answer would be 0 because suppose n is 4 so 4 is this 100 zero, zero, like 0100 zero, zero, zero. i'm writing in four bits only n minus 1 is 3 right so you will never get one here so 1 2 4 8 if the number is 4 and n minus 1 is 3 so 1 1 so other is 0 0 so you will never get a bit 1 at that number or at this side you can get 1 at the lower side bits only if a number is n minus 1 right because it's minus 1 same if a number is 16 so for 16 we have suppose our number is 8 so 1 0 0 0 this is 8 let's find out 7 for 7 the binary representation is it's 0 1 1 1 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7 so at this place is 1 1 1 otherwise 0 0 0 so something like this so you'll never get a 1 at this place or at this side higher side you will get if you get one then at the lower side bits you will get one only and here we have only one one all the other bits are zero so if you will perform if you will perform here bitwise and so definitely you are getting zero if the number is even because there is only one bit that is one and at this place for a negative number for a negative number for a neg number minus one you will never get one here at this place you will never get one here that is for sure because number is less than this number this is 8 this is 7 so you will never get 1 at this place so for sure you will get bitwise and 0 right maybe there would be some other solution as well you can think some other operator also you can use and have this is one of the solution in constant time like this you can solve this question so just find out like if this condition is 0 just print number is power of 2 otherwise not so there is no iteration nothing else no loop nothing else they can also ask one of the company like in google they have also asked like don't use any uh, recursion or loop and solve this question then bitwise operators are helpful bitwise operators are very helpful while solving these type of questions right so let's now try out i have uh, i have told you the logic now try to write down the program Pause the video and try to write down, write down the program. So let's see the solution here. The idea I'm using in, is IntelliJ idea. So let's create the project name is YouTube lectures and in SRC let's create a new Java class. The name of this class is Power of Two. If you want to change the name, then here from here you cannot use you cannot change the name. See, you will get the error because Power of Two Java the name the file has been saved with with this name. So if you want to change the name, you can just refactor this power of 2 this is the file right click and just uh, refactor refactor and rename so from here you can change power of 2 or any name you can take and refactor that's it but i don't want to change the name right now let's take our obviously the main function and here we'll take input from the user using scanner class so int let's take a number and for to take input from using scanner you have to create an object of the scanner class. This is the way to create a, this is the scanner class and we are creating object of the scanner class. New and this is the constructor. And from the this um, keyboard, the standard input we are taking input. That's why I'm taking, I'm writing here system.in. That is standard input. Right. And the scanner class is within this package, java.util. So you have to import this package first. So I have done some configuration, some setting. So I have used this and automatically this import this has been imported because of that setting so let's ask from the user enter the number 
and the scanner object dot the number is will take int so next int is the method to take input let's check simply you have to check if num bitwise and num minus 1 is equal to is equal to what 0 right now the thing is if i don't put here the bracket then see you will get error this bitwise and cannot be applied to int and boolean so for bitwise and is having say this equality operator is having higher precedence than this bitwise and operator i hope you know the operator precedence and associativity so by default the grouping is done something like this right first this equal to has been will be uh, evaluated then the that would be applied with the num and whatever the result you will get here so num minus 1 is num is suppose 10 so 10 minus 1 9 9 equal to equal to 0 no so this will give false this is false this is boolean value and this is num is 10 int value so int and boolean you cannot apply bitwise and on that so particularly you have to specify which operator you want to evaluate first so i want to evaluate bitwise and first so you have to specify with these brackets because these parentheses are having higher precedence highest precedence and simply you can print here if this is true then yes number is power of 2 else not power of 2 that's it it was simple one so okay this has been the current file has been selected here and let's run this and see you are getting the exact output or not here and enter the number suppose the enter is uh, so, sorry the number is 2 so yes the number is power of 2 let's run this again and suppose number is i'm taking here 33 it is not power of 2 it's not power of 2. So I hope you got the solution. Now you can try out this with different different programming languages like in Python, C++ or C. And just a reminder, if you want to check out my DSA with Java course, you can go in the link is in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment, you can go and check out. There we will cover almost 200 plus placement questions or these type of questions. Right. And if you want to upload, if you want me to upload more such kind of questions on YouTube, you can just let me know in the comment section.